All right, so here's another uh, interesting module. Uh, like we know that, I mean, whenever there is uh, uh, like a new version of uh, a browser launches, I mean, be it Firefox, be it Chrome, then we need to update our uh, Chrome driver or uh, the Kaggle driver executable files, right? So we generally do it from here. Uh, we go to the Selenium main website, uh, selenium.xq.org. And then we go to downloads, and uh, from here we find the third-party uh, drivers, right? For uh, Firefox, we have Mozilla Gecko driver. For Chrome, we have uh, Chrome driver, right? And here we generally check uh, for the latest uh, releases, right? So uh, what we need to do once we uh, download this uh, Chrome driver, we Simply click on this. Uh, like we we get so many options over here. I mean these these are the uh, previous version. You need to make sure whenever uh, like you are on a latest uh, like uh, Chrome or latest uh, Firefox, and if things are not working, you need to make sure that you you update uh, your driver executables latest, right? So Chrome driver, I clicked on this, uh, but here you need to. Uh, download uh, the exe files you'll find it uh, somewhere over here if I click on this uh, yeah this is uh, the chrome driver uh, win32 zip file right so uh, if I download this uh, it will give me a zip file so if I uh, uh, click on uh, if, I, if I extract this uh, zip over here I'll extract uh, like I'll say extract to this. So this is what uh, the Chrome driver looks like. I'll just copy it and uh, paste it to uh, my resources. So I've already added this, right? So you can simply right click and click on uh, paste. I'll remove this one. This is probably the previous version. I'll delete it from here. And see, at times, uh, like if you are already working on Chrome and if you have added this file, you may encounter uh, an error that it's not uh, allowing you to delete the Chrome driver exe file. So what you need to do, just go to your task manager. At times, uh, the task, the process is uh, still running. So see, I uh, have the Chrome driver running over here. Just kill all the process that you see. and one by one, kill all process, and okay, somehow it is stuck, it's not responding, so yeah, there's so many instances, I was actually debugging a lot on this Chrome driver thing, so a lot of sessions open, but I'll try to quit them one by one. Last two left, and the last one. All right, so now if I uh, right click, delete it, it will allow me to delete it, and I'll paste the latest one over here, right? Now what we do, we normally, once we run the Chrome browser, uh, let's say uh, test browsers, I'm gonna create a class uh, with the main method in it, and I'm gonna say, web driver driver equal to new chrome driver and import the files and do system dot uh, set property the key should be web driver dot chrome dot driver and the value is your chrome driver exe file chrome driver dot exe along with the path the path you need to give it like uh, this is your root then src should be double backslash src test resources and then uh, we have drivers and then chrome driver.exe this is how we generally do it if i run this thing right now so what it will gonna do it will uh, launch the chrome browser right and let's try to navigate to a website. Uh, we'll say driver.get and go to http way to automation.com. So if I run this thing again, again, it will gonna launch uh, the browser with latest Chrome executable. 
and it's now navigating to way to automation.com right so this is one of the things that uh, you need to do every time uh, you need to make sure you have the executable the latest executable available if in case you want uh, this process to be automated as well like getting the executable files you don't want to do it in this way so you can simply remove it from here right don't worry about the executable files now because there is another api uh, if you go to mvn repository you'll find something called as web driver manager right so this is uh, uh, like a github repository uh, like this uh, it's something like an API which uh, automates uh, this uh, like the binary management of selenium web driver at the runtime so we're going to download the latest version we'll just copy this and I'm going to show you uh, what magic it will going to do to our code so I'll I'll just go to pom.xml file and in this pom.xml I'll paste this dependency over here right it will take few seconds uh, to uh, merge this uh, latest web driver manager api the jar file so once it is downloaded uh, you're going to see them in the maven dependencies uh, web driver manager should be over here yeah this is web driver manager right now uh, if you go back over here right now since i have removed system dot uh, uh, set property uh, for uh, chrome driver if i run this it will gonna error out immediately right mentioning the path to the driver executable must be set by web driver dot chrome driver system property now what i can do i can go over here and i can call a class that is web driver manager right and put a dot over here you'll see a static method uh, that is chrome driver and say chrome driver dot setup that's it only this much you need to do no need to worry about this uh, chrome driver exe if you want you can delete it now uh, since we have already used it so you're gonna find it over here so remove this uh, chrome driver from here so now as I have uh, deleted that, now I'm going to delete this Chrome driver exe, right? That's it. Now let's see if I run this and you're going to see. Wait for a few seconds. Don't worry. These are just uh, messages, just some logs. So see, starting Chrome driver and navigating to way to automation.com, right? So this is as simple as it is. Similarly, if in case you want to launch this thing, not on Chrome, on Firefox, so say web driver manager dot Firefox driver dot setup, change this class to Firefox driver, save this and run this again. And within few seconds, you're gonna see that it will launch the Firefox browser let's wait okay now one thing you need to make sure that uh, see it's giving me some error it's saying that unable to find a matching set of capabilities this is because I don't have a latest version of Firefox installed on my machine if I show you the Firefox version on my machine it is uh, one of the previous version uh, it's 47.0.2 quite old version right so what i'll do uh i'll very quickly download and install uh latest firefox right so, so give it a minute uh it's very very quick installation So let, let's wait for a few more seconds and yes uh, latest Firefox is installed right so at the moment if I check the current version it's uh, 63 which is latest right 
now if we run the code again if we run the code again you're gonna find see launches the latest Firefox and it is navigating to way to automation.com right so this web driver manager will gonna make a life very easy just you need to make sure that you have added a latest dependency over here and your browser should be latest and the selenium version that you are using should also be the latest one right so these are the things that you need to make sure and you need not to worry about downloading the chrome driver or the gecko driver exe files now all right thank you